guys and girls. We were at the Quality Inn in Atchison, Kansas. We were told by the administration here that they have some spirits here and they were kind enough to let us go around inside the hotel and see what we can find here at the Atchison uh, Quality Inn. People are really, really nice here. Uh, they're very open to letting us do what we do, so we appreciate it. So let's see what we can find. Welcome. Now Michelle's staying in here tonight. In this room here, supposedly there's an apparition of possibly a lady in white or a female spirit. We're gonna see, we're gonna come back through here. We're going to see what we can find. Right now I just wanna run the SLS through here. See if we pick up on anything whatsoever. See, like I told everybody, this whole community is haunted. Why is this whole community haunted in Atchison, uh, Kansas? Is there a bunch of ley lines? Uh, we have to research more history about this place. We really do. But I, I've talked to a lot of people that are here. Very nice people. They're very open to talking about this stuff. Talking about the paranormal. See if we pick up anything whatsoever. And uh, that's something that we really appreciate because sometimes people, they look at us like, like we're nuts. It's because we are. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we do appreciate it. It's a lot of fun. People say that they see faces in, um, in some of the rooms in some of these pictures here, but <laughs> you're out, you probably might be on a family vacation or something like that. You might have a couple drinks and you could be like looking across the room while you're drinking with your favorite beverage and you're looking at this because it was a glass. You go, oh, oh my God, <laughs> it's a face. <laughs> no, stupid. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's inside this room, can you make this go off for us? If there's any spirits inside the room, can you touch that box for me? All right, let's move on. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> We're going to take the hallway. Supposedly there's a little boy in the pool area by a they've coined the name Jacob. So we're going to see what we can find in there. Okay. Looking for a little boy named Jacob. They coined the name Jacob. Is there a little boy in the pool area at this time? If you can come in front of this camera, we can pick you up. My name's Neil, what is yours? Where did you guys usually see people see that they see him around the pool? Like going into the water? Now, was there ever, ever uh, a death that happened inside this place that you no, guys know? But, um, I talked to the pastor today before I came here, and this is old grounds for the nunnery. A nunnery? The nun yeah, the nun's oh. place, they had the back so, Oh. But that's what it is. I was yeah. wondering what that big building was back there. Yeah. Interesting. And what's your name? I'm Jaden. We hear that you're in this uh, part of the building, Jacob. Go over the pool, too. Might be a reflection, though. Yeah, but let's just see. Jacob, do you like to swim? Are you in the pool? Do you need help? Did you drown here? This used to be a nunnery on the land. I guess that's what the lady said. I wonder what it was before that. So people see a little boy in here splashing around in the water. Now what is it? Do they see him walking around here splashing in the pool? As in, like, footprints. Yeah, 
Jacob. Keep coming in front of the camera. Don't be shy. We just want to know that you're here and maybe we can help you. Do you want some help? Did you say something? At this time, I hear a little boy's voice, or what I believe is a little boy's voice. Could this be the voice of the little boy that they say is here in this pool area that drowned? But no matter what, it is a disembodied voice that I did hear, and no one else said that they were speaking at this time. Did you say something? What'd you hear? You didn't say a word. I heard something that almost sounded like a child. Jacob, is that you that I hear? Oh, I got something. What do you get? I got something right. It was right there. Something came into the camera a second ago. Ask it to come again. Can you come out again, please? And if you could speak into this box here, what is your name? I was picking up something for a second. It was faint. It showed up for one second right over there, a figure. I wonder if he's shy. Are you shy, Jacob? Don't be afraid. We're not going to hurt you, dude. If you can prove to us that you're here, can you just say hello into this little box? And then I have another box that I'm going to come down here with, and you and I can have a regular conversation. Does that sound fair? Yes or no? Get over by that wall over there. There. Got it. Got it right here. Michelle, move over to your left. Your left. It's not Keep her. Keep moving out of the picture. I got it right here. Go around the pool this Guys, way. Guys, it's right here. Seat. It's right there. All right, Jacob, don't Everybody be afraid. Come from behind me. So that's what I was thinking. He's going to a different corner. Hey, Jacob, how are you? Can you raise your hand for me and say hi, just like I'm saying hi? Can you do that for me? My name's Neil. How are you? It waved. Yeah, how are you? Hey, if you want me to come down here and talk with you tonight, can you wave again for me? Wave like I'm waving. Repeat. What, yeah, just like that. Oh, he's Where'd out of go? picture. He's out of frame now. I think it, it, he's like shy or something. Yeah, don't be afraid, buddy. Are you running around? Yeah. Did your girl see that? Yeah. It's like a little kid running around different spots. Alright, we're in room 125 here at the Quality Inn in Atchison, Kansas. We've been invited here. Uh, people here are very, very nice. Uh, they're more than welcoming to see what's going on in the hauntings here. So we're in room 125. And supposedly there's something going on here. It might be a maid uh, that we're hearing about. It's something female. People are saying that they're seeing faces in some of the pictures. But like I explained to you in some of the rooms... You might have people who are coming in this place in a hotel and they're having some drinks and this and that and they may have had too many and all of a sudden they look at the picture because it's reflected and go, oh my God, there's a face. We used to have, this used to be the like, land grounds for the nunnery that's just up the street. Wow, Okay. check that out. Yeah, and this hotel has been around for what, 20 years? No, less than that. This hotel I think was finished building in 2001. 2001, 2001. okay. So there's, there's probably a lot of rich history underneath this ground. Yeah. Uh, that may be uh, causing this. Now remember, you have uh, what's the Kansas City, Missouri River, not too far from um, here. You have limestone that's around here, okay? We also have a lot of history of slaves. Yeah, and you have a lot of history of slaves, exactly. So you really don't know unless you do complete research, which we are going to really, really start working with mm -hmm. you guys with, or at least the community with, and finding out what the rich history here is. Mm -hmm. So let's try to find out. I'm going to ask the first question. My name's Neil, what is yours? Let me just make sure it's only.
How many spirits are in this hotel? Is there a little boy? Is there a little boy in this building? Say hi for me. Okay. What is your name? My name is Lee. Are there bodies buried underneath this ground? Yes or no? Yes. Is there a little boy in the pool area? Alright, I want you to answer a question. What is this young lady's name? What did it say? Jaden. Jaden? I just said it, yeah. What is this lady's name? What is this lady's name? It's Steve. He thought he was pointing at me. What is the lady's name? What's your name? Heather. Heather. It kind of sounded like that. that. I heard it. Yeah. Heard it. Sounded yeah. repeated it. Fill in the blanks. Pay attention to me. Fill in the blanks. One, two, three. Okay. 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 Very good. Do the AV. Okay. Filling in the blanks. A, B, C. <coughs> what room number is this? Twenty-five. You heard it. I heard one. One. And then. Did you hear that? Yeah, one. Just again. Is there a lady that is still living inside this hotel? Is spare form. Hold on. Help what? Or is it one of the sisters from the convent? <laughs> All right. So sister. Yes. Yes or no? Are there any nuns on these grounds? Is there a sister here? <laughs> You know there is. All right. If there's any nuns on these grounds, you should know these prayers. Fill in the blanks. Our Father who art in. A name of the Father, Son, and the Holy. Spirit. Okay. Right, see what what is your name, is. sister? What is your name, no. sister? What is it? <coughs> Anne? Anne? She said Anne. twice. I'm sorry if I couldn't really. I know it's with an A. Anna. Anna. <coughs> Give me one more time. You know you have the strength to do it. Come on. <coughs> Mary Teresa. Mary Teresa. Did you, you hear Mary that? Teresa? Mary Teresa, do you wander this, these <coughs> rooms? Are you looking for your room? <coughs> Mary Teresa, are you looking for your room in the convent? Can you not find your room? That quiet? All right, so the question is, is this place, I don't want to use the haunted, is, is there a spirit of a nun inside this hotel? Yes or no, please. Me? Me? In our meeting room, which is now the exercise room, um, I I personally think that I don't know if you guys believe in the portals. Oh yeah. But um, if you go in the laundry room, we have a TV that has the four cameras. 
You can't see it now because the camera's not doing it. Oh, it's in the it's in their now kitchen, and it. But you would oh, see okay. waves. Yeah. Of like, I want to call them people, now, but you waves now going let, let, into let me, the maintenance room. Come so the so let me. You might be yeah Maybe having works. a vortex or a portal. The only reason and I have to use the word may. Right. Yesterday when we were at the Sally house, okay. We've noticed that there is a vortex or a portal that goes from the basement all the way up. And what it does is it drains a lot of energy out of you. It did it to me and it did it to Michelle. And we know that these things do exist. Could it possibly have it here? Yes. Hello everyone, this is Neil with Graveside Paranormal. If you love the videos that we do and go to all the haunted places around America, please hit the subscribe button at this time. And boop.